over there. I'm gonna say I am actually. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. Oh! How many people you got? Whoa! Over there? Enough to defend ourselves. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been oh. running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What the hell? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always public to the bandits. Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered or something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! What? The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. He just murdered that man. In cold blood and called him, called him a, uh, <laughs> excuse me, you guys could have worked that out. Here it is. I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of begging for it after he said, what are you gonna do about it? Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is brilliant. This is brilliant setup. No, We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. I hate her. She it's has to die. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This Little is Brenda, me. you're getting We've killed. Been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control. I've got things under control over there. Well. I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that apply to the rest of us? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet, but we could bring her. Mark! We can you don't just out. say that! A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Mark, you're dying. You're this? dead. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. You're It'll dead. Be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our family. 
I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? No, hell no. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. I don't I don't know if I trust these people actually. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? How many weapons do you have? Yeah. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Are we your first guess? Let's go to the perimeter. No, are we your first guess? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Walking the perimeter with Mark. Me and you together. My best friends forever. Safe enough for us to stay, if we can. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence. Before All right, hold on. Conclusions. How'd you guys get the new pair of clothes? Out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Oh! That's a crow There's one. eating a zombie. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. All right, come on now. Where the axe come from? Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Alright, so where'd you get the axe that time, Lee? Oh! This one's hanging on. Yep. Oh yeah. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. 
Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks Shit, for the sure. rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Focus on a task. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> He jumped and I just like <laughs> little help here, Lee. I don't want people to hear me button clicking. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh Mark! I seen this in the preview. Get to the gate. Oh my god, Mark. Get down. You oh, Mark! <laughs> Oh! No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Can't hide forever. Give us the food. Put a lever. Hurry, dude. Hurry. Oh! I'm not trying to hear that. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Right oh, shit, that hurts. Oh, God! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Come on! What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. There ain't no way. That this zombie fell all the way over here. Oh my god. They're literally hitting the another one? How many of those things did we push down? I know, right? I feel like we only pushed down like two or three of them. Oh! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Alright, dude, it's coming so quick, yo. It's coming so quick. They had something to do with it. They had something to do with it all. They had something to do with it. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, 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 oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? Was those Shut up! You know! Yeah. You know! I'll That's why right. you're dead. That's why all three of you guys are dead because one of you guys turned on the fence Mark, and you oh knew. Oh my God! What? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think I can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Welcome back to the Walking we Dead, ladies and gentlemen. Today's game, today's game, we're going. I'm stay. so sorry. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Oh, that's, my, that's my bad. Well, I was recording, nice but game. I did not have Let's my mic plugged in. That was my mistake. I'm going to head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. All right, that's that's okay. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. All right, come on now. Duck, I swear to God, if you're on that swing before Clementine. Nope. This has to stop. Where's the swing? Yup. Mm hmm. Yup. It's stopping right now. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? You know what? Yeah, I will, because I'm father material. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Your ass hurts. <laughs> Let's push him. Let's push her. Uh, we're safe here, are we? How are you doing? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Damn. Her. Why did she ask I'm that? Going to be okay. Lucky out there, but a bit a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. Damn right. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Oh, oh, Lee. What do you think of the dairy? Yeah, let's get her opinion. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh, I'm actually... Well, I don't want to scare her, so I'm going to say yes. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. I'm not going to say we're safe here. But to keep pushing her... Yeah, I will. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All oh! Right, That's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Ah! <laughs> well, I can't talk to her anymore, can I? I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. All right, bet. Um, I still don't trust him. I don't even know why I said we're safer than her. I basically lied. That's gonna come back to bite me. Fellas, how you feeling? What? Look, I'm really sorry. You almost got killed out there. Uh, oh, shut up! Told you how dangerous. It you knew. No shit. You saw no. what you did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some research. It didn't even say but how. It just said how. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. Absolutely. So yeah, right. Head out there and find their camp. Alright, this guy's getting a lot of weird. His voice is not this deep when we met him. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. 
No use getting ourselves killed. Shut the hell up. Clementine, you can't go. No. Absolutely not. Going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Damn, Clementine loves me. Oh no! Why why'd you look down, Clem? Clem, why'd you look down like that, dude? Clem, why did you look down? See anything? Not yet. The hell up. We just started walking, dude. Empty. <laughs> Go ahead. Here. Oh shit! You found it. Sneak up to the camp. Well, you see anybody? Stay on guard. Stay on your guard. Hey, bastard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm going to check out the tent. Wait. Clear. Nah, 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 nah. Small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. I seen Clem's hat. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nope. Nope. Move. Move. I seen her hat. It looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Damn it, you knew. Nothing. Empty. Empty. <laughs> oh, so we actually have the decision to move him over. Save lots. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much for one person. This is too much stuff for just one person. Yeah. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Absolutely not. Hmm. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Nope, shut up. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. A camera. Watch him be like, oh, find? God, let me see it. A video camera. Let me see that. Exactly. Absolutely not. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. Hmm? What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. This I see you handle bastard. that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. Don't you question me. And now that you're gone, I'm gonna get Clem's hat. I know it's in here. It's right there. Lee. Lee, it's right there. That has to be a hat, dude. Is a kid mixed up in this? 
was more like. Damn, that just disappointed him. All right, come on now. What's your name? Dandy Annie. Don't come on. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. The I hell? know what you do. Well, excuse me. Steal my shit. Steal everything uh, from me. We had a deal. Who you are you? Broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Maniacal it's laughter. Not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there. You better believe. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time when I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're oh! Monsters. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Where did you get girl. Clementine's hat? Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. No, what the fuck are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Oh! Right through. String them up on that tree. Oh! Get down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh! oh. What are you doing, Andy? God damn it! You murdered that woman. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Pointed at my head. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. What so, the hell? That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Dude. I knew he was crazy with the vo with the voice, dude. I should have stayed at the motor end. These guys are going to end up destroying us. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You Danny. Soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Danny, Dan. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh! Calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What is going? I leave, and people are arguing. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like a lot of tension with y'all, huh? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. Shut the hell up. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. 
Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. No, no, Danny, Danny kind of. You don't do that, Clem. You don't wave at me. You, yeah, I got your hat though. But you don't, you don't wave at me. You don't you wave at me and try to, and try to sucker me in. Try to sucker me in. Trying to sucker me in. I'll check on it later. But nope, here I come. Pick a boat. What? It's super dark in there. It's super dark in there. And where? Excuse me? Is that like a glitch? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Oh, she needed my say so. Whoa! What? Says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> don't. Don't lie to me, Clem. Don't you lie to me. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Really? That's it? Okay. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. I wonder if I would have said shit. <laughs> what would she would she have said it? My hat, you found it. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Um. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Right? Oh! Thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. All right, hold on, Lee, cause cause like Lee, you coulda coulda did something. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Uh, Danny and I met a woman in the woods. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he uh. He probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. <coughs> yep. Alright, come on now. There's something behind this door. I see blood. I tried to... I tried... There's a mop to probably mop up the blood, but you ain't mop up the blood. So it's time to look at this though. You found it too, huh? Kenny. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. That's How true. You? What about Clem? That's 100% true. You're being stupid. She's not at, absolutely not. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachina. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came. What's his name? I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point 
this, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Oh! You say that. Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh! You are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Absolutely not. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, I thought that was Danny. Ah! <laughs> can I help you boys find something? Oh. Just checking out the barn. <laughs> Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Fuck off. They're hiding something, dude.